My story is true. You're more likely to believe me, however, if I tell it as a fairy tale. You could sit around the fire and tell the story, and it would still be compelling. But on top of that, you add this beautiful landscape of visuals that George has put together. The sets are incredible. There's a fine line in this movie between what's real, what's hyper-real, and what's a memory. The djinn is obliged to tell the stories that really affected him over 3,000 years. Well, it's quite a story. That starts taking us all the way back to the Queen of Sheba. George wanted to start off with a kind of subdued color range. One of my favorite costumes is the Queen of Sheba's dress. She could have conquered Vikings and woven a dress out of their blonde hair. Oh. Later on, we end up in the Ottoman Empire. George wanted to make very distinct looks for each story. The main imperial hall was developed to make it more decorative and more colorful. <laughs> the harem bathing pool was a wonderful set. It's all stone and arches. It was important that each time period had its own distinctive lighting, color palette. We developed the bed chamber and we covered it in fur, floor, walls, and it was quite exotic. They needed to be magical storytelling and each costume had to tell a lot of the story. I could not wish for more. There's a feeling that the worlds are all woven together in one big tapestry of time. It's unlike anything that you're gonna see out there in the theaters today. I'd love the audience to see the kind of effort that we put into the imagery in the theater.